For the first time since 1993, the Varsity Blues men's and women's swimming teams have both been crowned the CIS national champions. You don't win a national title with just one or two swimmers. You have to have the depth. UBC has a tremendously strong team. They have some superstars who didn't have a lot of depth. We have some superstars, but we have depth as well. And that was what carried us to the gold medal and the national championship on the women's side. Kylie Moss was named the CIS Female Swimmer of the Year after sweeping the backstroke events, all in CIS record time. Every once in a while you come across a superstar athlete, and we've got one of those in Kylie Moss. She's now one of the top 10, 15 swimmers in the world in her discipline, the 100 meter backstroke. Obviously vying for a spot on the Olympic team in about five weeks from now. And this is a woman that has really done it all within Canada. She's a CIS product. CIS should be extremely proud, just like we are, of course, at the University of Toronto. The banner wins were especially special for fifth-year co-captains Bridget Coley and Paige Schultz. Coley started the night by winning her first career CIS title in the 800 freestyle. Well, I really wanted the win and it was coming really close to the end. I thought it was a bit more ahead than two 100s, but I was keeping it exciting, I guess. <laughs> We've worked all year for this. Um, I can't even describe the feeling. We love it. We're so excited. Um, it's not even really sunk in, like we keep holding that trophy, but it's going to hit me in like an hour that it's my last CIs, our last CIs, and we just won as a team and there's nothing better that we could do, so we're excited. On the men's side, we have some real good stars, Eli Wall, Athlete of the Year, and at the same time we have some real good depth, 18 men came to this competition, almost every single one of them scored. It was a little touch and go this morning in the third session and UBC really put a nice challenge on us but we responded brilliantly in the finals tonight, the last day, and we kind of extended the lead a little more than it really looked like at the time and I was able to breathe a bit easier in the last couple of events when we knew we had it won. First year standout Oswald Nitsky earned CIS Male Rookie of the Year honors for his dominant swims in the 200 fly and 400 IM. Oh my. Oswald has surpassed all Amazing. expectations. His 400 IM was uh, arguably one of the most the exciting first races of the meet. Uh, he we, wasn't saw, we thought maybe he would squeak into the A final, yeah. ends up winning the whole event on the outside he lane. Was in the outside lane and then last 200, picked it up on the brush oak and just brought it home on the freestyles. Incredible. And did it again the next night, won another event, won another, yeah. rookie of the whole meet. It was amazing. It was also really important that we had 18 guys this year and all of our guys made B finals, made A finals and got those points that helped us you know, win by so much. It's not just the All-Stars, but it's the fact that everyone came together and scored points.